Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. We will now observe a moment of silence. Thank you, Stratford. Good morning, Stratford. Today is Thursday, November 10th, and you're watching SHTV. Each presidential election, Scholastic News puts up a mock election for kids across the country. By voting online on their website, kids can have their say about who should be our next president. This vote may not be official, but the results are very telling. The results of the student vote have mirrored the actual outcome of all but two elections. This year, Hillary Clinton won the mock election by 52% over Donald Trump, who got 35% of the vote. Although most of Texas voted Democrat for the Scholastic News mock election, Channel 1 News took an online poll for Stratford and the majority of students voted for Donald Trump, which as we all know by now is how the nation voted. The 2016 election has finally come to an end. Donald Trump won the election yesterday. Philip Sauls is not happy with this outcome. I hope that the next four years pass as quickly as they possibly can. Um, you know, it's going to be tough, and hopefully he doesn't do anything so ridiculously stupid that it destroys uh, the government, or especially race relations. Yeah, that's what I would be most worried about. Uh, him being president would be uh, race relations in because they're already bad enough right now and they just get worse with him as president so Alejandro thinks Trump is a better choice I feel a bit more satisfied usually both candidates either they win or lose uh, it seems as that uh, usually Trump might be a better choice in uh, contrast to Hillary I feel that Trump will be a bit too reckless in his presidency his uh, policies and immigration seems a bit too blunt and a bit too abrupt, especially to Latin Americans especially, and especially Muslims. But I feel that his, him being a businessman and having a company, he knows how the economy works and can make a better improvement on it. Santana likes that Trump has a background in business. Um, I'm more like reassured, I guess, um, because he's a businessman who can help our economy. But then again, I don't trust him with our military because he's very strict and very, um, I guess, yeah, commanding. Paris feels content with Trump's standpoints. Again, I, not as much as where Hillary stands, he's all right, but he, in the same way, he's not as corrupt in a sense. Like, his, his private and public standpoints are the same, and him as a person isn't very likable, but he is a businessman. Carlos feels offended by Trump stereotyping Hispanics. I agree with a lot of his, um, his economical terms. I feel like he will bring the economy uh, to a good status in the U.S. Um, there's some serious problems, though, um, like when he calls Im um, illegal immigrants, you know, rapists, uh, drug lords, you know. It, it offends people like me. All in all, the election has concluded. Congrats to our new president. Tomorrow's Veterans Day, an international holiday marking the end of World War I. But here in America, it more broadly celebrates all of the men and women who fight in the military. Working here at Stratford are a number of former veterans. Pre-Cal teacher Mr. Hall remembers his time stationed in Korea. I was in the Army, and I worked uh, a lot of times with intelligence. And with intelligence, I'd work in tank units, infantry units, 
I'm very glad I served. I enjoyed being part of the United States military. It taught me a lot about professionalism and management and responsibility and respect. Election got you down? Need something to laugh at? Can't make it to the playoff game? Come see Comedy Sports in their first match of the year. The match will be at 7 p.m. in the Stratford Black Box. Tickets cost $5. <laughs>